with all the changes that are going on, and obviously it's a different environment today than when you know you were doing packaging design with with Apple. It was a there's a lot more people out there offering these kinds of services. What can modern creatives do to prepare for the change that's going on so that they can stay stay ahead of the curve in the coming years? Yeah. Well, creativity, no matter what branch of it you're in, whether you're a graphic designer or a web designer, programmer, even strategists, those skills can be very powerful, but not by themselves, not as mm -hmm. a general offering of skills. You know, hey, I'm a strategist. You need any strategy? Mm -hmm. you know, that's not going to help. Um, you have to apply it to something. And where you apply it means everything. So if you can find a place to apply those skills where there's nobody else fishing in that spot, um, and it's something you really, really want to do because you're passionate about it, then you've found it, right? And you may have to kind of change that over over the years, you know, because once you get successful at something, things happen, Be, you know, cr people crowd into your space. Um, the biggest thing that happens or the worst thing that happens is, is that the world moves on to something else, right? And so you have to move with the world and you also have to consider uh, your changing uh, interests, you know, you want to be able to stretch yourself and, and, and do new things, you know, so th it's, it's a moving target. And that's, that's, you know, how, how things work in the, in the, in the consulting business. So when I started as a graphic designer, and then I became a writer because I wanted to control my graphic design and I didn't want people messing it up with, you know, bad copywriting. So I had to learn that. And, um, and then then I realized that another thing that was messing up my work is bad strategy. I mean, companies with dumb ideas that were forcing me to do something that that I knew wouldn't work for them. Um, so I had to learn strategy just in self-defense. But it it was a great thing to to a great a freeing thing because once I understood the idea of strategy, I could actually apply it to my own business and become more specialized in a way that would make me happier. But also um, look at my client's business in a new light, in a more strategic light. And it wasn't long before they were saying, well, you know, you're doing this package for us. Can you do some strategy around that? Like, you know, so we know that we're doing the right thing. And so I thought, okay, um, I thought you guys were the strategist you know, you're running the company. <laughs> so obviously strategy isn't as well understood as I had thought. And uh, that, that was the problem, right? Mm. Companies would come with these briefs that, you know, that didn't make any sense to me having done this for a while. So I started um, learning strategy and bringing that to, to the, the design work I was doing. And then eventually started just selling the strategy, um, you know, and the ability to connect strategy and creativity in ways that would add up to something important. I kept specializing um, yeah. until I finally realized you really have to be different. And so I picked an, a niche that was super narrow, which was to, to be the guy uh, whose company um, designed the physical packaging and, and the graphic design of, of a package that sold software in a store. Right? Mm -hmm. so, and it was tip, it turned out to be mostly business software. So business software in a package, in a retail store, was that. And you know, my other design friend said, "You're just going to do that? Uh, th how can there be enough money in that?" Well, it turns out if you get, you know, that was a growing category for ten years. Mm. If you get a lot of that, you know, so let's say twenty five percent of that business, because you're the only one that's specializing in it, that can be a huge amount of money. Mm -hmm. uh, very profitable kind of thing. So, um, and it was, it was amazing. So that sold me on, on strategy. So, you know, this, this idea of narrowing your focus, uh, as a powerful tool, um, to get more of the business that you want.